We have been located at this facility since the 1970s. This facility was never meant to be an animal shelter. It was actually a chicken coop located on the fairgrounds property. It was converted into the animal shelter back in the 70s. And we have done many improvements. I had a couple additions to the building. Certainly our mission, probably most important, is reuniting pets back to their owner. We also try to make a comfortable environment for the animals in our care. And then certainly for those animals that owners aren't located, is to find loving, responsible homes for the animals in our care. A lot of people don't want to bring their pet to the shelter because they think that awful things are going to happen to the pet. It's a safe haven. We treat these animals. The minute they come through the door, they're vaccinated, they're checked in. We treat them like they're our own. This is where people will look when their pet is lost. Every animal that comes in that's astray, we post their picture on our Facebook page, and it has worked wonders with getting them back to owners. We have a four-day stray hold. After the four-day stray hold, if no owner comes forward, the animal is thoroughly checked out by our county veterinarian. Every animal that comes through our door gets a distemper vaccination, a Bordetella vaccination, and a flu vaccine. When they come here, they're gonna get good care, and have anything that they need done, addressed, and it's just going to make that animal more adoptable. We have a uh, great volunteer program. We have people that come in and walk the dogs regularly. They get really attached to the volunteers and they get really attached to us when they see us walk by. They're just all over us because they know that they're going to go outside and go for a walk. Getting the dogs outside and getting them exercise, stimulating them mentally, just makes a world of difference for their stay here at the shelter. You know, that might be the nicest experience they have that day, is me coming, bringing them a treat, and taking them for a walk. And they need that attention. They deserve that attention. Domesticated animals need to get to know kinder humans other than me ones. What they need is love, respect, compassion, companionship. I think the biggest misconception is people think that they're damaged goods. You know, that they're here because there's a problem. And probably 99% of the time, it's because of lack of human responsibility. It's not the pet's fault that they're here. And a lot of times, it's just something small that needs to be addressed. You know, maybe it's a puppy that hadn't had any socialization. Maybe it's an animal that isn't housebroken. You know, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Those are things that can be fixed in time. People have this idea that the shelter is a really bad place and it's somewhere that animals go to die. But in reality, the shelter can be the best thing that happens to some of these animals. Coming here once a week really opened my eyes. It's much better than I thought. It was nice to come in and see how clean the place was, how nice the staff was, and how great the animals were. They weren't these broken animals. They were great animals that just needed a little love. We've had so many success stories. Chip came into us as a stray. You know, Jamie, who's a wonderful volunteer, fell in love with them immediately. She toyed with the idea back and forth. You know, I don't need another dog. So this is Chip. I've had him for about a year and a half. He was found out in the country. He had an um, injured tail. Many people came and looked at Chip. Jamie was ecstatic, you know, that he had the potential, but for whatever reason, he wasn't picked. I spoke with Jane and I had made the decision to foster him. So I brought him home after Dr. Dora repaired his tail and neutered him. And he and my boxer, Jambi, became best friends. So he wound up, he wound up staying. Another success story was Truffles. We saw him on Facebook. I thought, oh, that's a good looking dog. We saw a, uh, a post with him with a sign around his neck that said he'd been looked over for 108 days. Girlfriend was about to go in for, for surgery and she was gonna be off work for six, eight weeks at a minimum. I'm like, why not, let's go get him. He's adjusted great. We were very cautious bringing him in. We wanted to make sure we, he wasn't stressing out our other dog. And within about two and a half days, we didn't even have to put him in his crate anymore. It's been great. One of the, the stories that's really close to my heart is 12 years ago, a gentleman had come into the shelter. He had gotten a uh, puppy and he worked 12 hour shifts. And he didn't realize how much time a puppy actually took. Um, when he came in, he asked if we'd be able to help him out. We said, sure. I made the phone call to my husband and said, could I please bring a dog home? So I was fortunate enough to be able to bring Gus home. Uh, Gus became the shelter spokes dog. He uh, did all the programs going to the schools with us. He was a big part of camp for the last six years. Back uh, two months ago, um, he was diagnosed with cancer. We took him to Purdue, and unfortunately, he had euthanized. He was the best dog in the world. 
and it, it's just proof positive that adopting a shelter animal, they can give you so much love. There's a lot of dogs and cats out there that need homes. I mean, I understand people that want certain types of dogs, but I mean, depending on what you're looking for, you can usually find that at your local shelter. I think dogs are what you put into them. If you're looking for a good dog and you're willing to put in the time, you'll get a good dog from the shelter. People should adopt animals like dogs and cats because they do deserve a second chance. They are pretty much like humans. They actually do have emotions and they hate not being taken care of or loved. I truly do believe that an animal that is rescued from the shelter does know that it was at the shelter and now it has its forever home. If we didn't have people trying to adopt, we wouldn't have any, any hope here. It means everything to the employees and the animals here. A lot of people walk through and say, I could never do this job. Well, there's a lot of good with this job. It's the people, the great people that come and adopt, and that's what makes me happy, the people that adopt.